guys, welcome to Angel Whispers. Vanessa here speaking, and today we have a choose a tape reading, and this is Is There Someone Copying You? This is requested to me by Saint Gabriel, the Archangel, because during this time the angels say we are being pushed away from karmics and this is for you to be aware if somebody has been copying your works and this is to help those people that are in the public eye and so that your works will be will be known for you only or you'll be aware if somebody else is getting your works okay so this is also for you to understand how important it is to protect your work okay but if you're somebody who's a publisher or you know that your work has copyright at least you are aware and you will report it is kind of scenario or situation or you will try to figure out who is doing it now in this one if ever no one is copying you then we will not require to pull more cards about it okay so it's just a guide for you guys this reading so is there anything else you know that's it so anyway we got five choices here number one is packaging tape number two is masking tape number three is the washi tape number four is double-sided tape and number five is bears tape okay because there's bears design <laughs> all right now is there anything else they tell that's it so anyway guys just post a video if you're not yet ready and i'll proceed now with number one hi guys for those who chose number one which is a packaging tape here is your reading so i will just put the tape here so that it may not roll <laughs> okay now anyway let's see if somebody is copying you number one so if majority of the cards are in upright it means yes there's someone who's copying you but if majority of the cards are in reverse it means no so we'll see angels and guides please provide guidance with the cards so we may be able to know if somebody is copying number one another they tell me one more they say so I have a feeling here that I don't know why I'm sensing misleading okay could be you are aware that you're being copied but in a good way I feel like you are an inspiration for people I feel like if ever they copied you I feel like it's not necessarily your your work or your style but i feel like they also want to have a business like yours and i don't know if you will like it but i think for some of it, it's okay due to the fact that there's a lot of people let's say who's selling clothes who's selling dolls whatever so they want to do the same thing i feel like you gave them inspirations obviously we got a yes as an answer because we only got one reverse over here and the rest was in upright so we have four five six seven seven upright okay so we will clarify the cards Honestly, seven is a good number. It's about um, divine guidance or divine intervention. So I feel like these people who copied you, like they want the same business, you are a heaven sent because you gave them an um, inspiration. You gave them an idea on which business that they like. I feel like they will be thankful or happy to be a friend of yours because I feel like this is one of your friends. So let's see what we have. Some of you, I feel like you don't like the idea that your friend copied your business because you don't want to be in competition with your friend. The angels say it's okay because your style are different from their style, okay? Um, be patient with yourself because honestly speaking, you shouldn't be discouraged pursuing whatever that you have. Could be, guys, it's not only about business. Could be, I'm sorry, could be in YouTube, okay? They want to be in YouTube too. 
So I feel like they're happy that they know you and this could be a family member for a little of you about 3% of you it could be a family member but mainly it's friendship level okay or um, one of your viewers if ever you're a youtuber or an influencer okay another I feel like guys number one I think that some of you this is not only one person in particular because I feel like if ever you have a huge following um honestly some of your viewers or some of your followers are also starting a business just like yours so yeah you are a gift from the divine to everyone who know you because the angels say actually with the moon being here so i feel like they are taking action secretly honestly because they don't want to offend you and they know that you could be sensitive and that's the reason why they have been starting a business silently without making you be aware of some of you you're aware that your person has started a business okay or a youtube can be just like yours but yet with the queen of wands here this is something that they're passionate about i feel like they didn't copy your style or your work they just like the business okay that you guys had so six of wands this is somebody who has the same interest as you are and you really i feel like for some of you you share this idea to them and that's why it unlocked the doors towards it okay because with the knight of wands being in reverse here i feel like they could be a person that lacks passion motivation in their life and that's why your person on the other hand is really happy that they know you i feel like for some of them they could be jealous of you of your works but yet i feel like when they begin to start whatever you have okay they start to realize that that is also what they want to do so i feel like if ever they will be given a chance to say thank you they will say thank you to you and they may say apologize to you as well because some of you may get offended that both of you has the same what you call this has the same business okay i feel like they don't mean to compete with you they just do it for fun and i feel like you should do the same thing like i feel like this is not a threat for you really so avoid you know miss misguided that your person is against you because i don't feel like they are i feel like if ever they started a war between the both of you they do want to apologize they do want to speak the truth to you that they don't really mean to copy you and they also want to say thank you to you because during the time that they are like this like their thoughts are clouded or they're not um motivated or inspired you're somebody whom give them inspiration okay you are an uplifter guys and i feel like they do like your energy they do like the vibe that you have um that you are i can hardly express i feel like this person is actually shy to approach you because i feel like they know to themselves that they copy your idea of having this kind of business and i'm sensing here that some of them are even afraid to tell the truth to you because they don't want to lose this connection or this friendship that you guys had so this is somebody could be that's close to you and i feel like they see you as a happy person and i feel like yeah this is one of your colleagues friends somebody that you're close to and i have a feeling here that you also you know i feel like some of you could be misled by lies or rumors because i feel like some of you it lead on to an argument okay so i feel like your person do want to say that they don't really mean to do that they just want um something for themselves they want to be stable with regards to their income their money and i'm sensing here that they also want to say thank you to you because now they're happy and now i feel like they do regret on copying you but yet i feel like they do want 
to celebrate with you and with your success too. I feel like you, the part of their plan, I can hardly speak. I feel like they don't know really how to approach you. Part of their plan is to invite you in a certain event wherein they will say thank you to you. They will give you a gift. And then what else that we have here? So with this Knight of Cups being here. So the angels say, avoid arguing with this person because actually there's nothing to argue about. And avoid thinking about competition, guys, because that destroys friendship and that will give you stress, okay? Um, the angels say, be in this loving energy because honestly speaking, this is your vibe that you are a giver of inspiration to everyone. And because you inspire others, there's obviously a tendency that they may come you so the angels say this is this kind of event is also teaching you how to handle your haters okay or copycats whatever but in this case situation i think that there's nothing to be angry about because honestly what they're doing is very different from you even though let's say you are a tarot reader and a person got inspired to be a tarot reader like you so tarot readers have different styles right so and that's what you need to know number one is that even though they copied your idea of work business it doesn't mean that the whole personality of yours is there okay so avoid conflict and war with people that did this to you so the next thing is this one so i am a I have a feeling here that some of you could be worried of the competition because I feel like some of you could be losing money or use, um, losing viewers, whatever, um, because of this person. So let's see what else we have here. So I have a feeling here that whomever the one that copied you really, some of you, if it led on to an argument, they are hiding themselves from you because they don't want argument and, and they don't want drama and conflict that will happen. And I feel like with this four of ones, I'm sensing like they can't move on from you, honestly, if ever it lead on to war, to argument and i feel like your person really wants to approach you if ever the case situation is um you you began to be angry at them or there's a war between the boss of you they want to admit that they're the one whom copy your idea okay can be but they also want to say to you that they they want to apologize honestly because some of them they have a hard time to to sleep okay that's what's going on because you are an inspiration honestly you are a good friend okay so let's see with your charms what it has to say they tell me so anyway these are the charms so for the charms that we got here is that yeah this person i feel like they're enjoying the business that they currently had and i feel like some of them make it as a secret so they won't offend you okay so i feel like you could hold a title that you have this kind of business or youtube whatever and I feel like you really have a good heart, you're a caring person. Some of you, you offer this idea to them, while some of you don't. And I feel like the angels are calling you on to be somebody who has a loving heart. Because if you're somebody who's not combative, not always um, in argument mode or you're accepting of whatever has been happening around you then good outcome will head in your way so with this one i have a feeling here that if ever you're mad at this person for copying your idea what they want you to do is calm down okay and i feel like if there is really an argument your person on the other hand you know is always remembering it and they feel guilty okay of making you angry when you figure it out that this person have a business like yours so let's see what else so since we got a yes and answer we're gonna pull this set of cards okay 
angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so you may be able to know who is copying number one so i feel like the group of friends that you guys had okay wants really to be a part of your journey and i think that they have a good lighted energy they don't really mean to be in competition with your work okay or with your business they just want to enjoy whatever that they heart felt drawn to so the angels don't want you to be angry with this person and they are hoping that reconciliation may happen between the both of you okay another one more they tell me so i have a feeling here that your friend could be jealous about what you have before and i feel like um now they realize that they can do it too and it doesn't mean that they copied you but they just admire what all what you are doing as well because remember that tell me who your friends are and i tell you who you are so sometimes you know our friend also adopt what we like and you must be understanding to your friend because i feel like your friend is somebody that's very creative so if it's not friend it's somebody that's close to you so i'm sensing here that yeah they're very creative people and then the next is this so i feel like your person is really close to you and i still can hardly speak with this one so i have a feeling here that yeah you're you're someone who used to date them could be your ex can be i don't know but i feel like some of you this could be a lover this could be a friend or i feel like even a teacher i don't know why i sense it okay so the next is this one so i feel like um whatever it is your business is the same okay and i have a feeling here that i think that it has to do with social media as well so could be they also own a youtube like yours all right and then the next is the secret river so i'm sensing like whomever this is they don't really know what is their path and that's why you are their guide towards it and i feel like you make them discover okay what they really like to do because i feel like you could be a healer you could be somebody that you know remove their anxiety their depression whenever you're around and they do admire that this could be a suicidal person too okay or somebody who lacks motivation in life even though they're creative okay and then with this one so this person could be great with communication too and i'm sensing like with a dove being here so you could be a good news to this person and i feel like with your speech with whatever you do they are really inspired by those things for some of you this person could have been listing or could be copying some of your words but yet it's just to add up um their inspiration okay then the next is this mother and then mentor so i have a feeling here that whomever this is i think that um i feel like no one loves them or they feel like they're left out in the cold and they see you as somebody that is a mentor that's understanding and knows what they really want i feel like you're an understanding person compared to the elders that they had around with them i feel like for some of you this person goes towards you to ask for an advice okay athlete so this could be a person that can be good looking or um sexy <laughs> kind of thing they are health conscious i see so the next is this one so some of them th they could be someone who's not that closer to the divine okay some with a king and pioneer so i feel like your person is someone who who lacks money or they don't see themselves as like you are because they believe that you guys could be an emperor or empress energy okay they have low self-esteem as i see and then the next is this so i'm sensing here like yeah they lack really passion they lack the passion in their life 
most of them really are suicidal guys okay and yeah I feel like you met this person because you need to heal them. You need to inspire them, okay? Cha divine reverse and rebel. So, I think that this person, on the other hand, really wants to break free from this stress, worry, anxiety. And I feel here that you could be somebody who's worried about this person. You could have treated this person as a part of your family or somebody that you always need to care for so i feel like yeah that's why they see you as an inspiration and some of them have fallen in love with you or this could be your lover really i feel like for some of you if ever your lover is creative too um or even your crush i feel somebody in this loving vibe could be they have the same um quality as you are could be you love to write poems and they are too they love to write stories so if ever you love to share stories online i feel like they do see that and sometimes you know it gives them an inspiration to write a book about it or write a story about it okay um yeah i feel like they really are interested to you if ever this is a crush but i don't know if it's okay guys that they are copying your stories my gosh but i think it's okay with you because some of you you're not even using it as let's say for book stuff you're just posting so that you may inspire others so i feel like that hearted energy here number one like it's not something that you will consider to be serious because the real copycats are those people that really copy your style your looks whatever but if business situation, remember that there are a lot of certain businesses same as yours. So why would you be jealous? And I will say it when it terms to I'm sorry, when it comes to business guys, never be always think that you're in competition because you're not enjoying your business you're not enjoying what you do it's just adding up to your stress so avoid being in conflict with regards to your business or career and the angels say some people actually with a little um problem in terms of their let's say haters or copycats they will post something they will react badly they even curse those people that's against them and the angels say that those people who do that they need to be aware that whatever you're doing to even your haters or your copycats that will happen to you as well so make sure you know how to handle those things okay so in order for you to be a successful person be in that loving energy like what you showed your person number one okay now is there anything else i tell that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose one and sending you all peace love and light bye Guys, for those who chose number two, which is the masking tape, here is your reading. So I'll just place a tape here together with your number. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, let's see if there is somebody who's copying you number two. So if majority of the cards are in upright, it means yes, there is. But if majority of the cards are in reverse, it means no. So let's check. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know. Is there someone who's copying number two? Another, they tell me. One more. Okay, honestly, my third, third eye is kinda hurting. I feel like you intuitively know there is. Because I have a feeling here that whomever that person is, I feel like this could be somebody who hates you a lot, okay? I feel like your person is jealous of you because you can do whatever you please. And let's see if ever they copy you really. Another. 
I feel like if they copied something, they try to be like you. You have an angelic vibe, but they have... Um, I feel like their vibe is very different than yours. Like, it's kind of combative vibe that they have. And I feel like they tend to be in arguments or they have bad lucks while you're a lucky person. I feel like, yeah, they, that's why they gave us an, us an answer. Because even though they say they will give a yes, like, this person tries to copy who you are. They cannot copy the original you because that is you. Everyone is unique. Okay? So, um, anyway... Just read it, they say. So, let's see. I'm gonna clarify first. This is like, um, who is jealous of your reading? But I don't really feel like they, whatever that they're doing about you, it didn't work. Could be they stopped copying you already. We will clarify angels and guides. So, I didn't count because the angels ask. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. This help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. Another. Alright, another, they tell me. So, you could be an influential person. So, whomever this is, this is someone who's jealous of you. Mm hmm. Even your intuition knows. For some of you, if this is about tarot stuff, you could be somebody that is great with regards to your work. And this person could be same as you are, a tarot reader can be. Or let's say an influencer too. And they want to copy your stuff. But I feel here that they are wounded because they can't be as great as you are. Like because whatever they're using is not their own personality. And the angels say they gave you a warning signal that this person already is copying your works. And you have to be aware about it for some of you. And let's see. So we got the Nine of Swords being here. So I feel like your person, on the other hand, um, knows that you're somebody that they want to be. But, you know, it's not meant for them. I feel like that's why they're crying. Because honestly, with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like they're afraid to lose whatever that they copied to you. I feel like it's because some people could be realizing that they are copycats or they could have um, used your style. I feel like people that knows you attack this person. That's why they are really afraid that they gonna lose their reputation, their channel, whatever it is. Because with the Ten of Cups in reverse here, and so what happened to this person, they're losing their followers because their followers knows that this is somebody who copied other people's works. They are known by it because justice has been served. See, karma hit this person. That's why they are forced on to remove themselves from whatever that they copied from you. They are learning the important lessons that they should be themselves because honestly, if you copied some else work or even personality um, you're not gonna get whatever the person that you copied has because that is not you okay they need to be more unique authentic that's why they're not manifesting anything and they didn't manifest money on or material wealth on whatever that they're doing the next thing, yeah, they're losing followers, they're losing friends. I feel like they can't even defend themselves from the critics because they know to themselves that they copied someone else's attitude, someone else's style. It's not them, okay? So I feel like could be their tongue has been, has slipped. Could be suddenly they say that they copied someone's, you know, um, design or whatever. 
so the next is this one so judgment for some of you you are required to put copyright on your works because honestly the angels say some of these people could be from the same community like youtube or other like instagram can be i feel like this person okay see you as somebody who has a following and you are loved by people around you because i feel like them on the other hand they are not like you are they don't have a loving vibe and they want to steal whatever you have because with regards to them, I feel like there's somebody who's not moving elsewhere and you're someone who goes after, you know, what you want, whatever you felt drawn to. And I feel like you you could be an influencer, you could be teaching people on how to do whatever you do. But yet this person, instead of listening to your guidelines, they copied you, your idea, whatever, instead of, you know, following their heart what it is that they really are called on to do right so with this queen of cups being here so i'm sensing like people are angry with this person because honestly you really portray this queen of cups energy even if you're a man watching this you have a good heart okay well this person on the other hand they find this person as somebody that is an attention seeker and you're someone who's a giver of love you're not someone who seeks for an attention so i feel like your person has this tendency to ask for attention could be because they have been abandoned since childhood and they're really thirsty for attention okay and for love they're kind of that demanding attitude or energy that's the reason why they are not really that um approachable or some people tend to realize or empathize what what their intentions are and that's the reason why they have less following and they're not as popular as you are and they're also not earning much money with regards to what they do because they do need to follow their heart they need to follow their passion their own style and not to copy anyone else because they're living in a lie with this moon card here so it is emperor here so yeah they're losing followers they are not in their power as you can see here because i feel like it's weighing on their shoulders not being themselves i feel like this person lacks self-love obviously because they copied someone's identity so yeah they lack self-love and that's the reason why they're they're not comfortable on what they're doing and so with this four of chalices i feel like the divine is trying to show them that they need to love themselves they need to see what else can they do that they have their own personality because the more that they try to copy others the more that they're detaching themselves from their true self and they're living in an illusion and that's the reason why things are not going well in their life like bad karma is hitting them because with this ten of swords being here and the strength so i have a feeling here that if people are criticizing them on copying i feel like they can take it i feel like people are starting to realize really that they're copycats and they're trying to defend themselves but i feel like the more that they defend themselves the more that people realize now the true colors of this person that they are just attention seekers and they're not really good in handling their haters they i feel like they do not admit their mistake they didn't say that they copy someone's work and then the next is this one so it is high priestess so i feel like you're someone who's minding your own business i feel like you don't really look at this person's drama but to intuitively know that somebody is copying you next thing that we got here is this nine of wands so you're being watched by this person honestly and some of you you really have a tendency 
to put healthy boundaries so that this person may not look at your works or may not steal your ideas because whatever that you're posing they're trying to get it okay and I have a feeling here, so karma really hit this person, like someone has been blunt to them or has been reporting their works that, you know, it was copied and or they could be receiving some comments like you're copying someone else's style, you're not original because this person is original and so forth. So I feel like they're not gaining anything from copying someone's works because with this side of one being here, I feel like there's something else that this person needs to do and that is what they need to focus on instead of stealing someone else's work. So the next card is this page of pentacles. So whomever this person is, um, this person actually realized now that whatever that they copied or could be business style or artwork can be so they realize that it's not something that makes them happy they're not really passionate about it and it's not their talent okay i feel like this person is losing money and even opportunities that's what's going on and then the next is this so I feel, yeah, this person will not be a star because they copied somebody and, you know, the star quality is being unique, it's being you. And I feel like with this eight of chalices, they will be stuck unless they go after their passion or they embrace their true self. So, if ever they're still copying you, it will get nowhere. That's what the angels say. So we got a yes and answer even though we didn't count based on your reading, okay? Straight yes. So let's see about the charms that we have here. Another they tell me, so one more they say. So anyway, here are your charms. So for the charms, what we got here is that, yeah, you're somebody who's listening to your intuition. I feel like you're following the guidance of the divine. That's why you are on the right track. And you really meant to do whatever that you're called on to do because you're the one who's chosen since you have a good heart. And this person, on the other hand, could be one of your viewers and i feel like this person could idolize you because they are not like you are okay i feel like they are somebody who don't know really what they're good at okay that's why they're not on alignment with regards to work and that's the reason why they copied your personality because they see you as a cute person loving person and you really have this charisma and caring vibe loving vibe while them on the other hand is very different from your vibe they are into their logical sense or practicality and they're not like you so i feel like the karma really hit them they're sad like a lot of followers that they used to have now is gone because they got exposed on copying you your attitude or whatever you are so since we got yes and answer we'll see other cards all right angels and guides please provide guidance with the cards so we may be able to know who is copying number two another they tell me so we'll see So the angel said to me that you need to chill number two because you're being protected from this person because look at you, you can manifest anything that you want because you are the child divine here. You're the one who's chosen to do this kind of work and that's why you're blessed on doing your work. So keep it up, the angels say. So whomever is, I feel like, more jealousy vibe, whomever is jealous and a copycat here, it's somebody whom 
They, they can shape shift. They copy others, not only you. They don't have their own personality, honestly, because they're not somebody who love themselves. And I feel like this person needs to discover more about themselves, okay? Instead of focusing on the people that they want to be or idolize people, they should, you know, at least be a good person or at least see themselves okay and people are very different we are not robots we are all unique and that is what they need to realize is to be um a good person and to copy other people's attitude or how they speak and i feel like people find it very annoying for this person because honestly they could have copied even your style okay and that's the reason why some of your viewers can be are really upset with this individual here who copied you so you on the other hand the angels say be patient with your career the angels say no matter how many people copied you you still remain unique you are authentic they say and you are the child divine you are the blessed one and not these people are because they follow whatever other people's you know um life purpose but that is not their purpose they really need to discover themselves so that's another reason why they are losing whatever they copy to you because that is not their calling and they're being in the process of awakening to find themselves okay so don't worry even if people copy you it will be removed from them because that is not meant for them okay so is there anything else so the angels say to me that some of you this person could have copied you because someone asked them to copy you but the angels say if ever that's the case situation because you have a hater the angels say it will not push forward because the intention of the channel or page whatever it is is to destroy you obviously they are just destroying themselves with bad reputation they're just you know the karma is hitting them obviously if not in let's say on the youtube or page that they begin on it could be hitting them in real in real life i can hardly express i feel like um some of you okay you're not allowed to know because the universe is doing their thing there okay so i feel like some of you you're not being asked on to know so that you will not add up any stress or worries with regards to your career because they want you to focus on your career and not on your haters not on your copycats okay so just be you okay even though people try to copy you there's no way they can copy the unique you that's what you need to remember all right so is there anything else they tell that's it so some of you are walking wikipedia or encyclopedia so keep it up guys okay and anyway thank you for watching and sending you all peace love and light bye guys for those who chose number three which is the washi tape here is your reading so let's see if somebody is copying you number three so if majority of the cards are in upright it means yes there is but if majority of the cards are in reverse it means no so let's see angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so you may be able to know this flu while i shuffle what it is the wheel so we may know if number three has copycats another so let's see honestly when i shuffle my left hand hurts so somebody could be angry at you number three so i'm sensing here guys that you have a terrible argument with somebody 
It's not because they copy you, but could be because the other way around. You could be accused of copying someone's work. But yeah, you got to know what's an answer because we got four in reverse and three in upright. Now, I'm going to clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So, we may know what's behind the cards presented here. This help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I feel like some of you, you're not aware that someone is angry at you. Another. Hmm. one more or you could not be copying someone just i feel like both of you has the same style can be well it can be avoided honestly because sometimes let's say in tarot community some people are intuitive readers while some people are context based so for the context based obviously it can be the same style because what you're portraying to is the same context right really depends on your story just take what resonates number three and leave what doesn't and my head really hurts so some of you okay you know this because you got involved in a fight with this individual and my head hurts which means there's mental conflict there or you could be um thinking of a tactic on how to attack or how to make these people not hate you can be now anyway this is the first card that we got so we have a no as an answer it's because i feel like people around you are just minding their own business and they didn't see you as somebody that accelerated yet and that's the reason why they're not really that focused on you and you could be dealing with people that are just busy with their work or with their home life yeah they didn't see you as a successful person they see you as somebody who's suffering and they could be seeing you as somebody that's a copycat for some of you because you love to view other social media accounts so if ever you have that habit please kindly avoid it honestly because to be honest guys okay to remove the frustration if you have the energy that you haven't achieved something it's better for you to focus on yourself or do something that will uplift you because the more that you are focusing on other people um, that they have these things that you don't have then you will be your own critic like you will lower yourself you will belittle yourself just by viewing other people right so it's better for you to focus on your own life because people see you like this so a lot of people are aware that you love to browse other people's social media account and that's the reason why with this eight of wands you're not accelerating in your life because you tend to observe you tend to compare yourself to others and i feel like your guides are asking you avoid doing this avoid belittling yourself and rather be in a hermit mode focus on yourself and discover more on what you can do rather than dimming your light by comparing yourself okay so with this nine of swords i feel like some people if ever you love to post about your your dramatic life i think that they don't really want to look at your social media because they don't see you as the emperor or empress okay the angels say minimize posting dramas in social media because it's ruining your reputation and not all people will like to listen to your drama because there's a lot of things going on could be you're posting because you want some people to understand you or you want someone to talk to that can be so the next thing that we have here is this so i feel like for some of you got involved in an argument and i feel like this could be one of your friends this could be a lover too and that's the reason why no one really wants to pay attention to your um social media because you got yourself involved in a conflict okay and let's see what else we have so with the star 
and the four of wands so i'm sensing like people around you are actually trying their best to go after what they want and i feel like they do try to inspire you to do the same thing rather than always focusing on your downfalls i feel like you do have people that cares about you but they want you to uplift your own self okay because they know that you're not happy with your life okay and i feel like some of them could be healers okay and whenever they um go towards you or meet up with you it drains your energy because you really have the vibe of loneliness depression in you and that's the reason why they detach themselves from you not because they hate you but because you drain their energy um whenever you know they speak to you and yeah nobody's copying you yet because you're not yet in this dark quality but guys number three you do have a potential you just need to look at yourself okay so let's see what we have here another they tell me so anyway here are your charms so for the charms that we have so as i told you people around you are busy with their work okay and i'm sensing here that people view you could be as a toxic person because you love to post something about your life and that's the reason why you're being ghosted by others or you're losing your following because all that you post could be is drama or you have this vibe wherein you drain the energy of others because you need to mend your heart or you need someone to talk to so I'm sensing here that people honestly have a good heart around you. They care for you, but they want you to care for yourself, okay? But I'm sensing like with this one, I feel like could be they see you somebody who got hit by karma. That can be because they want you to be more logical or practical um and with this one i feel like you could be thinking like it could be cute to post certain things but i don't really feel that way i feel like some people are annoyed by whatever you post number three because they they say to me you could have done something wrong in the past and that's why some people has the energy of being angry at you okay so avoid um putting up negativity out there and focus on yourself number three because if you keep on um viewing others um as pastime it will just create depression to you avoid having that habit and rather have something that's creative and more fun in your free time like playing online games or um doing artistic works right so focus on fixing your this kind of habit of yours because actually it's not really healthy okay so is there anything else they tell that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose three and sending you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number four which is the double-sided tape here is your reading so let's just place your your tape aside and your number so let's see if someone is copying your number four so if majority of the cards are in a pride it's yes okay if majority of the cards are in reverse it means no so let's see angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know if somebody is copying number four another they tell so one more they say to me okay another one more they tell so i wonder why they made me shuffle a lot but let's see Oof.
your nozzle. Not here. Just place it here. My head hurts. So I feel like this is one of your problem. Like someone copied you, your works, okay? And I feel like whomever is the one who copied you, number four, this person has regrets on copying you, honestly. So we got a yes and answer because we got only three in reverse and we got six in upright. Now I'm gonna clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I feel like this could be about work or money situation, guys. Hmm. This person could have stolen your idea on how to earn more money. Or it could be they scammed you. This person could have said that you will earn more. I don't know why scam and then this is about copycat. But let's see weird energy another you could have trust issues because this person scammed you one more so this person really regrets on hurting you i feel like some of you even breaking your heart can be now anyway this is the first card that we got so we got a yes as an answer why Whomever this person is, this is somebody who's not good with their money, honestly speaking. And they're not somebody who accelerated with their work. Some of them could have lost their business or their job. So that's who they are. And you're somebody who's the emperor here. You're a great leader. You know how to um, save money. And this person actually is jealous of whatever you have or you got... You have what going to because with this one i feel like this person could be someone that is if they have this money they will waste it okay that's a vibe that i get with them like they're not that great because they are spenders okay they're not great at saving so what this person did is that this person could have walked away from you and start to be like you with this empress so we got the emperor and empress here so i feel like what they copied towards with regards to you is if if ever you have a business um they could have copied your business that can be or they could um they could plan a certain business that um will make you be scammed i don't know because i feel like some of you are, you are scammed by this person okay and with this king of pentacles i think that you're someone who's stable and i feel like you can't go towards this person so for some of you you got scammed by this individual whomever that is that copied you your idea your business okay so i feel like you manage um I didn't manage to get your money back for many of you. And the next thing is this three of ones. And so they see as someone who's workaholic and your life is balanced. So I feel like this is one of your jealous friends, some of you. So you could have walked away from them already after they scammed you. For some of you, this could be a lover that scammed you into the money thing but i feel like for some of you this is a person that you used to hang out with okay and i feel like yeah they run away with your money or with whatever that they copied queen of pentacles is here so what we have here is that they are losing their influence because i feel like someone could have stolen their money or idea too that's what happened to them and that's the reason why whatever that they started like business or even YouTube, whatever it is, it didn't work. Because with this emperor and five of chalices, I feel like someone could have discovered that it belongs to you or 
It's not their original work. Five of chalices and eight of wands. So some of you, it has to do with communication, with creative work, or even, um, let's say, art. Someone could have copied your logo, your idea, and make money out of it. But I feel like somebody will discover that it was copyright or feel it like could be in the beginning they earned something from it but now no okay because it has copyright content or it doesn't belong to them that's why it, i feel like karma hit this person hard and the karma that they got they can't speak because they might slip their tongue and i feel like this person still making business or still using copyright content just to earn money okay and i feel like whatever that they do they can't run away from whatever that they stolen okay that's the reason another reason why money is not really um handsful in their hands because honestly they stole the idea the money and it doesn't belong to them that's what happened here so the next thing that we got is this tower reverse so what we have here guys is that they're being judged by other people because there's somebody who if ever they scam you they will get scammed and they will have a hard time to recover their money their wealth so it's a yes somebody has been copying you in terms of money in terms of saving money or having a business and this will not affect you number four aside from if ever you give this person money so don't ever give them something okay don't be scammed or fooled by them so let's see with your charms what they have here another one more so another they see okay now these are your charms guys so for the charms so i feel like whomever this is okay this person could have ghosted you and you know do certain thing away from you i feel like there could be an argument between the both of you because of what happened here so i feel like you could be somebody who's giving advice or you're the giver in this situation and this person just took it because this person to be honest they their thoughts are clouded i don't see that they are on the right mindset honestly speaking because their career, their business is getting nowhere. I feel like even their business is not on alignment. That's why it will never accelerate, okay? Well, you, you will accelerate because that is your idea. And this person is not. This person will have a downfall. Because this person needs to learn how to be authentic. How to follow their heart. Because their heart knows. Or if they follow their truth true self they will have obviously have this acceleration because they're copying others and i feel like some of them they're even copy people with a good heart they try their best to be a good person but yet with this mirror here even though they copy others people will still see them for who they really are and the karma that hit this person i feel like people are leaving them people are now realizing what kind of person they are like they are toxic people who copies others um ways i feel like they could not have um a title like they don't know really themselves and this person really needs to see themselves for who they are and rather than copy other people's attitude other people's business they don't have their um their own personality i can hardly speak i think that this person has difficulty in terms of speech so their third chakra can be blocked because 
It is to avoid others from being scammed by this person if they are scammers, okay? So we got the yes and answer. That's why I'm gonna pull cards for this one to gain you more information about this person who copied you number four. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may be able to know who copied number four. another they say to me so be patient with yourself according to them calm yourself down i feel like you you're thinking a lot with this person because i feel like some of you are hating them for copying you for um being a liar could be this person lied that it's their idea and not yours could be some of you copy the recipe um i think that you don't like it because you're the one whom what do you call this who have that recipe or they could know your secret recipe and they make it as a business that can be and that is for some so we got this zero heroine so whoever this person is this person really wants to achieve something in their life and there could be ambitious that's also what i see so they love to save themselves this is kind of like a narcissist vibe while you on the other hand you're a caring person and you could be charismatic as well so with this one i have a feeling here that you could be a loving person to the point that you tend to sabotage your own self like you tend to share your ideas to others like the ingredients of your works and i feel like you're crying because you shared and then they make it as a business okay so you really heard from what happened so whomever this is this is a person who has split personality like they are not somebody who's wearing their own skin which means they copy other people's attitude they're not a unique soul and so with this child magical reverse so this person is somebody who's yeah out of their um they're on their air, the air they're not grounded because they can't even think of an idea honestly and that's the reason why they copy people's works they they copy people's attitude because with this exorcist i think that this person of course some of them are practicing witchcraft okay rebel and pioneer so this person is that passionate okay we they could have this vibe we're in it's not really healthy like they could have negative vibe in them like they're not somebody who's a loving person like they don't care if they break your heart they don't care if they steal your ideas i feel like they yeah they have this kind of rebellious vibe and with this one so whomever this is they could be demanding people they could be someone whom plays like they are the boss even though they're not the boss so i'm sensing like this person see as someone who's wealthy and they see as someone who has a good heart that's why they think that they can manipulate you into giving in okay so this person is most likely in their masculine energy so even though you're dealing with the feminine it just means that they're into more with their money than their emotions so obviously they're detached from their emotions so far as i can see here because they don't really care on how you feel when they steal your idea steal a product whatever it is so that is so you feel like you're very sad with this person or upset even and i really sense uh hatred or sadness that you feel number four so is there anything else they tell that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose number four and i feel like you need hugs okay so continuously be a good person but don't be 
Don't be fooled by snakes. That's what they want you to know. Like if you have an idea, like let's say you're great with cooking, you have a certain ingredient that you have in mind, keep it to yourself, guys. Okay, don't over give to people that are opportunists. Give it to people that are, you know, to yourself, will not sabotage you or create a business, you know so that you may have it as a copyright too right so is there anything else yeah signature on top they tell me so learn from this guys okay it's very important to keep whatever you're if you felt drawn to share then share but if you felt drawn that you shouldn't share don't share and learn to listen to your hunches learn to listen to your heart because those people that are snakes okay you will have strange hunches that they can't be trusted but if someone can be trusted the divine will give you a sign too okay you will feel uneasy around this kind of people okay that's the closer so learn from experience and don't make the same mistake the angels say okay so is there anything else they tell that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose for and sending you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number five which is the bear tape here is your reading so let's just place the tape there and your number so let's see if somebody has been copying you number five now if majority of the cards are in upright it means yes there is but if majority of the cards are in reverse it means no so we'll check i feel like it's more likely a jealousy reading but let's see angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know if there is someone who's copying number five and suddenly there's noise honestly you're the only pile i'm sorry only number that has that certain noise another this could be an attention seeker person and there's somebody who wants to be a celebrity or wants to be known around the world can be but i feel like they have jealousy towards you so you could be somebody who's on the public eye and they tried their best to be like you so with regards to copying they're trying to copy your career path okay and i feel like they will not make it like you are because people are unique and yeah they they didn't achieve it and my head really hurts i feel like they could be trying to manifest in their mind okay they're not like the life the life path number eight which is about manifestation into reality they don't have that certain gift of man money making i feel like this person realized now that he or she can't be like you so one more okay no they tell me so i'm gonna clarify the cards angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand another they tell me okay one more they say so we'll see Oof. this person could be introvert like they're not really saying that they want to be like you but it's obvious with their actions even though this person is not talking about it okay they could be posting something that they could have a channel etc but i have a feeling here that i f i feel like they're sad that no one likes them okay no one loves them like the way that people loves you
So they wonder how you did it. So even though majority is in reverse, I'm feeling like it's a yes, okay? So we will just read the cards to see if it's a yes or a no in this case situation because I sense there is, okay? But we will check about it. Matter. So you could be popular in the eyes of others, you could be in the public eye, you could be a celebrity for some of you. So I feel like you managed to achieve your goals and your dreams while this person is not. They try to achieve whatever you have, but with the world being in reverse, things are not going well. Because that is not a part of their calling, though they try to be like you. They always have this downfall because they're being guided towards the path that they should be in with this side of fun being here. Like they have a different calling, okay? So with this three of swords in reverse, I feel like this person didn't actually um, hurt you by them copying you. Honestly, you're supportive of them. Like whenever you see them sad, you have been there for them. You could be somebody who's comforting, but yet I feel like this person still wants to be like you. And they tend to argue with you sometimes whenever they are frustrated that they didn't achieve whatever you achieved. This, some of you, this could be someone who's younger than you are, or this could be a family situation where there's competition, could be work even, okay, for some of you. And I feel like you're somebody who encourages others to try new things. Because that is how you achieve your goals and your dreams. You are an inspiration to everyone. And I feel like this person is jealous of you due to the fact that people love you and they are not loved like the way that you do. I feel like you have this sun vibe. But your person, on the other hand, their vibe is very different. Like whenever people are around them, they feel drained. Instead of people being uplifted, when example, when they show themselves in social media, instead of them being uplifted, they feel like their energy was drained, they feel sad. They don't know why, like, is they give a negative vibe on others. And that's a reason why they didn't become popular. Could be another reason is their attitude, okay? You could have a good attitude, you could be this loving vibe, but they are not, okay? So, let's see. That's why they're jealous of you, because you're naturally kind. You're authentic on who you are. Yeah, this person is someone that's close to you. So this could be one of your friends that can be. And I feel like with this orchard being here, so why they want to copy you or why they're copying you because you have this wealth and you're happy with, on what you do. So that's why they want to be like you. So the next is this one. So we got a yes and answer, obviously. And with this Ten of Pentacles, I feel like they tried, but they're not earning from it because they could have less following okay and it didn't push forward whatever that they tried to copy and i feel like with this two of chalices you could be somebody who's just chilling um like you're loved i feel like they're so annoyed by the fact that you are loved and they are not you're earning and they're not like you have a lot of following but they don't have any okay and then the next thing they could have a lot of haters compared to you like you don't have much haters okay so the next is the six of pentacles so i feel like you're somebody who plans about what you're gonna do you're somebody who's workaholic and i feel like they daydream to be like you that's what's going on and i have a feeling here that they are being blocked from copying your ideas from being you because that is not their calling so i just repeat here 
So the next is the Two of Swords. So honestly, this person don't know what they want in their life, what kind of career that they should be in. And that's why they tend to copy others. They tend to go after what they think, you know, they want to try without first thinking. So this person needs to learn how to think first before they act and be decisive. Because I feel like this person can get influenced right away. So these are a type of person wherein they can get scammed right away. So they have to be careful. And that's another reason why nothing is working out with the Six of Swords. Because they don't know what they want. They don't know whom their true self is. They didn't embrace their true self and that's why they copy others. But they do have a dream to be like you. Okay, but the sad part is that it's not meant for them. Okay, they are meant for something else. So with this five of wands, so this person is not somebody that you're fighting. Like it's okay for you to copy um to have them copy you because yeah you have this dark glow up they you could have been thinking like it will motivate them because they're sad okay so you keep this person around anyway the next is this eight of wands reverse yeah i think that they do have a lot of haters no one really likes their vibe and I feel like they can stop people from hating them, from walking away from them. And I feel like this kind of um, celebrity life kind of vibe is taken away from them because they have to respect their own heart, their own passion in life. They really need to discover more of themselves, to love themselves more, rather than to focus on what you currently have. So this is your energy. You could have a huge following. You could be in the public eye. You could be a celebrity. Okay, some of you could be a reporter too. <laughs> okay, so anyway, the next is a Knight of Cups reverse. So whatever that they're doing, honestly, that is not what they love to do. And that's why they're not earning anything. Could be people observe that that is, what they call this, not their talent to do. They're just pushing because they dream big. Um, they dream big, but it's not on alignment with them. So with this strength and ten of pentacles, so I feel like they're finding the courage to continuously do that or achieve whatever they dream of because they think that if ever they will be like you are they will have a lot of money so they're forcing themselves to be like you so the next thing that we got is this nine of wands in reverse so i feel like you're being called on to be on your own or um not to encourage this person to copy you because you need to encourage your person to be unique okay not to copy your style or whatsoever because you have to understand that people are unique people have their own talents and skill and calling too so if you're not on alignment obviously it's not gonna bear fruits so this person needs to balance himself or herself. I think that, guys, if ever you're close to this person, you have to be blunt. You have to be honest to them that if something is not working out, it just means that it's not meant for them, okay? So the next thing that we got is this Queen of Pentacles Reaper. So yeah that's the reason why things are not working out honestly so because that is not the life that they're destined to have honestly and they could not be great with their coins or they could not be in alignment with regards to their career so magician also with this ten of chalices reverse so the reason why they cannot manifest this kind of situation because the angel says that's something that they really like to do. It doesn't fulfill their emotional, their heart, okay? They don't have emotional fulfillment. 
So they're not really happy on what they have, even though let's say they have their own job, they have their own business. I feel like you have to teach this person to be appreciative of what they have rather than be jealous or try their best to be like someone that they're not okay and learn to be authentic because honestly i feel sad for your person because something is working out they're not even earning anything with the skill pentacles reverse and with these two of pentacles i feel like they need to ground themselves they need to if ever they're indecisive or their thoughts are clouded, they need to calm down. They really need to be in a hermit mode and they need to avoid to compare themselves to others because honestly, that is dimming their light. That is belittling them. Okay, so this is kind of person is kind of problematic, honestly, number five. So... No wonder why you feel concerned about them, but you really have to encourage them to try new things. Like, tell them that if it didn't work, then try other things. You know, try, try other things that you're passionate about. So honestly, in business field, if it's about business, guys, okay, business is like an experimentation. Like if a certain business didn't work, you have to try something else, okay? Um, because there is always something that is for you in store, okay? So one more. Even if we dream big, I will show you a story because... In the past, when I was a kid, I was inspired by Disney works and that's why I want to be like an animator. <laughs> I dream to be in an art field. When all honesty, I don't really have that talent, you know, to do those certain stuff. I'm more into crafting instead of drawing. You get me, okay? So, the reason why things like that didn't accelerate with regards to me is because it's not an alignment on my real talent my real talent is communication so i never get any job about art so this is why could be a person is focused on a certain thing that they thought was the one um to the point that they ignore their real talent and that's a sad part. So with this one, I feel like yeah, they need to follow their heart. They need to listen to their heart even more. Could be this person has this masculine vibe. Like they are more in tune with career stuff or the 3D realm rather than listening to their feminine side, which is their heart. So even though you're dealing with a feminine, they're not basically focused on their feelings. Like they are in um a go-getter um energy but yet they're lying to themselves they have to respect their heart so this person obviously needs to grow up needs to be mature needs to be wise in decision making because they're undecisive and i feel the sadness energy here because all that they wanted was to achieve something in their career or they want to be promoted as one of their dreams but i feel like yeah this person really needs needs to look at themselves you know um what is their talent what is their skill they need to have this time for self-discovery because they're so upset with themselves um i really felt sad i feel like their inner child could be wounded or not happy because they're running away from what makes them happy because honestly they're jealous of you because you're so lucky they thought that if ever they are in your shoes they will be as lucky as you are so what they didn't know is that it's creating an illusion it's making them run away from their inner child run away from their true self so that is their wish to be like you that's why they copied you and there's a lot of shades here so i'm sensing like this person really needs to balance the mind and the heart 
Okay, and yeah, I feel like they also need to be a caring person because they could be carrying a vibe of kind of toxic vibe like they want to be known, they want to be, um, what do you call this? They demand for people's attention and they want to be loved. I feel like they are somebody who wants to be a celebrity, to be loved and not because they want to serve others example it's like some people out there like yeah they might say that they are light workers but yet they are attention seekers like instead of them serving others they want others to serve them you get what i mean so they need to to realize that being a celebrity, being in a public eye, you have to have this kind of energy that you're carrying. You don't have to have that vibe that people should, you know, bow down to you. It's not how it works. Because if you have that energy that um, you're someone who's like demanding person, okay, you want people to be your servant, then people will not like it. Because you have that um, heavy energy in you. So let's see what else we have. So since we got a yes, we will just go over more about your person. Alright. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards. So we may be able to know who is copying number 5. Another, they tell me. One more, what do you say? So I feel dizzy, honestly, just channeling your person. They could be in a low vibe, they could be an energy vampire too. Another detail. So, one more. They say. Another detail. So, anyway, here are your cards. So, let's begin. So, what we have here is that. With the engineer being in reverse, so I think that your person um, is on their head. That's what's going on. They're not focused on whatever that they're doing. I feel like your person is also someone who has a hard time to memorize. So what I get. So they want to be abundant. They want to be like you. But yeah, they are not really on alignment on your path. Because with the fool and the guide here, so this person needs to learn a lot. They need to be awakened. They're not awake individuals here. So they can't even be a good influence to others because guide is even in reverse here. And they need to learn to be authentic. So this person could have money issues. That's why they want to be like you. They think that by having the same business as you are, by being you, they can be reach okay so we describe in reverse so there could be somebody whom i feel doesn't doesn't do well with regards to let's say um writing okay or if ever some of them they could be copying whatever you say because look at this one the engineer in reverse and scribe so whatever they copy can be the lyrics of your songs, can be whatever you say in social media, but it's not gonna work out because it's not their work. Because some people know that they copied works. So it is a thief in reverse. So yeah, this person, obviously an energy vampire person, like they seek attention instead of loving others. Okay, and that's the reason why this is not the type of job or thing that they should be in. 
so with the shape shifter this person don't know their true self and that's why they copy others and yeah this person could yeah since they don't love themselves they seek people's love they seek people's money they're not independent person they're very dependent on others they're somebody who could be people pleaser just to gain something okay so the intention why they want to be like you because they lack money and they they want to be loved okay just like what you experience so gambler reverse so what i get here is that they're a go-getter but yet they didn't think first if that is the thing that is destined for them okay they need to listen more to their heart and they need to learn how to be compassionate because we see here inspires you to put compassion into action because their intention was to gain attention rather than you know be of service of others so there could be thinking like if i want i'm gonna be successful if i gonna have money i can buy this and that and and other things instead of thinking like hey if i have money i can contribute to this um thing etc i can give more to the poor but they don't have that mindset they think that being rich can buy a lot of things and it can make them happy okay that's their mindset okay so with this teacher this is your vibe like you're teaching this person or even others okay on how you manifest and yeah this person is not attached to their feminine side that's why they're more focused on the coins so with this pioneer so yeah you're i feel like you need to be an inspiration to them to have a compassionate heart a loving vibe rather than a vampire vibe brain it drains energies okay because they tend to sabotage their own life by their own vibe so this person could practice exorcism okay or they could practice um what they call this occult so can be just to manifest could be their casting spells that will grow their money because i feel like they want the easy way around they don't want to work hard for the coins they think that if they are someone like you they could be thinking like you were your salary is bigger than them that is what they think okay what they didn't know is that you work hard for whatever you have and you really need to be a light out there and not somebody who dreams you know you have a negative vibe who has this drama of dramatic vibe because with a child magical universe so they could be someone as well that is not really spiritual even if they could be posing that they're spiritual i feel like they're not because i feel like they could be trying other things with this one just to manifest money anything just for money they're kind of money hungry in their vibe and that's another reason why they are not achieving anything and they're not on the right path and obviously if you're not on the right path with regards to career you're not earning much and at the same time what will happen to you is you might get fired because that is not your final job or that is not what's destined for you okay so is there anything else so the angels say just be patient with this person because they need a lot of growing to do and inspire others with a teacher card here inspire others to discover themselves to be themselves to love themselves be a good influence rather than encourage this person to be like you even though they are not like you okay and help this person to discover what they want okay um with regards to their career because honestly that's what i admire with my twin sister because before i have a youtube channel i don't really know which path i should be in because wherever i go i always have a tower moment 
because obviously i got involved with karmic jobs that's not meant for me because this is meant for me to be on youtube right so what she did was to you know buy me certain products like yarns um anything about crafting because she knows that is where i'm good at okay and that's why i'm not really good with regards to let's say working in an office environment or even as a customer representative kind of like that the reason why I'm not customer representative because i work in the bank um, I posted about that, okay? And what happened there is that I am become very empathic of others that has problems with paying their debt on the bank. And it's not, um, what you call this, I don't have that vibe wherein I'm demanding. Like, being in that kind of service, you have to be demanding to your customer that they should pay their debt. But I'm not like that, so... What happened is that my clients tend to, you know, beg for mercy or they felt drawn to share their story to me and, you know, I ended up crying sometimes. I ended up not asking them to pay their debt because I feel sorry for them. So that kind of vibe why sometimes the jobs are not meant for us because you will know deep within you. That is not a job for you, okay? So honestly, just be there for this person. If ever you're earning more, then buy them something that will uplift them, that will help them to discover themselves, okay? For whatever that they want or their calling because honestly, they didn't give us a clue what is your person's calling because honestly, that is their job to know, to realize about their calling in life or what career is really meant for them so is there anything else they tell that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose five and send you all peace love and light bye